Hello peeps, I'm 30 and welcome to episode 6 of playing the Republic of Rome in the Period of Rome. So how's your week been guys? I haven't played this in a week. Of course, I haven't uploaded this in a week. Because I haven't played it in a week. My week has been fine, I've had a nice week. A lot of studies done. <laughs> to be honest, I, you would think I would do... I haven't played this for a week, you would think, okay, 30's not playing for a week. You see, doing something productive in this meantime, like, for example, recording other campaigns or learning to play this campaign. You would think. <laughs> I haven't. I, I haven't played this at all. I haven't checked this at all, even though I have it on my to-do list to, like, check out other YouTubers playing this game. And I, like, I have them on tabs on my laptop. And, on, like, basically, I have them on my web page. I have the web page up of, like, one couple of campaigns in this game in this game and I haven't watched them simply but which is <laughs> something to be terribly ashamed of I, um I have to admit that's terrible but I guess sometimes it's too lazy to do the things you should do that's been my week guys I hope you have a better week than I have <laughs> not like I had a better week it was, it was a good week it was a good week of course but always make sure to before we go on make sure to like the video please Press the like button down below. Also make sure to subscribe to the channel and press the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future uploads on my channel, of course. But let's let's get right into it. Playing in Imperator Rome. I feel like I haven't I have no like idea how to play this right now. I I played Seeky Seeky Tree for like a week now. Barely I have I haven't played that much actually. And I feel like man. This feels so peculiar. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. What were we doing? I had a real long comment on the last video, last episode, and that was a very good one. And I do appreciate that one very much, especially concerning the trade. I think that was the, yeah, that was probably one about trade. And I do really appreciate that, guys. Um, there was a lot more things that you mentioned, uh, which I probably should remember. But I'm. Like, my brain is telling me right now that the trade was probably one of the more important things to remember, I feel like. There's something about boats. I, I do think I remember boats being mentioned. And some other things. <laughs> Among other things. There's a lot of things being mentioned. Let us please play the game. Get right, in, get right into it and hope everything works out the way it should. Man, we're, we have a lot of aggressive expansion. Probably because I did did a lot of conquering in the last episode. So, what you told me to is I basically should say yes to every place except in like Latium. In other any other place, I should just accept trade for like the money it earns us. And uh, I guess like local tax plus two in a like very low income. It makes sense. I, I can see the logic behind that. So, you also told me about the forts. I probably should, like disband a lot of the fortresses, and I do agree. As well, this is like a level two fortress, which is very unnecessary. If I can find the X, earn some money back. We are rich as hell. You want wine from Campania? I should remember those short keys, shortcuts. The problem is, like, I'm used to CK shortcuts. That's the reason why. And I've never really been good at keyboard shortcuts either way. Like, ever in my life, I haven't been great at them. So you're eating? Yes, you are. Oh. I see. That's actually interesting. So you're loyal to this guy. And I, you also told me, like, you, you can, like... Um, if I can find the bloody button. You can attach those guys to, like, the local... Huh. You could assign them to the local, like, place. To the, like, local commander. To make sure they don't... Be under nice people. Huh. I could actually root out the pirate. Interesting. There's a lot of things you could do. This one could be good. But, uh... As in no reason to, right now. Detach support. There's a lot of things you could press. 
feel like I can't find one. I feel like I've seen it before. You, uh, assigned region. <laughs> I'm blind, man. I just looked at it like several times. I didn't see it. You can do this one, apparently. And that will actually help you. I see. That's great. Use that small sip of water there. Okay, so we could actually go on another omen. I probably want money. To be honest, I feel like food is probably okay. But, um... I do want a better income. Money is the key to everything, in my opinion, and my experience so far in my life. So... Yeah, of course you have those ones. Oh, I actually didn't actually know about this. Nice. Okay, there's a lot of things. They give us a lot of... Can you, like, put those places... Those are some places to, like, give some benefits, or do we just gain those benefits? <coughs> Pardon. And the Tomb of Romulus. Monthly Civilization, Manalus Stones... The tabs of Villanius, Shumira of Aritim. There's a lot of relics that we do own. Uh, we do have a lot of political influence and not a lot of stability, so I would potentially want to spend some of this. But uh, I have already done it before, that's why. So I probably shouldn't. It's actually going up, so it's okay. Um. Our manpower is high, the economy is high. I could probably spend my money. I think you told me that spending money on buildings is not a bad thing. And I do agree. Buildings is usually a good thing to do go for. To go for. So, uh... Then the only question is, like, where? Probably my capital. These slaves are not that happy. Um... This wouldn't bring my income up. Is there, some, is there anything that would bring my income up? That's the question. Probably like the tax office, of course, but I see no reason to build another tax office. Probably trying to make the slaves happier. Because the other people are very happy, satisfied. Just try and make the slaves happier. I feel like you don't have an aqueduct as well. I could try. I'm just I'm just playing around. I don't know I don't know what's best actually, so you might as well just try tell him if I'm doing some stupid shit. This one is already done. We only have destroyed Italian allies left. And I feel like that's something we should do like right now. I see no reason to wait for it. The only thing is how strong are they? So they are like three Five, uh, three, five, uh, eight, ten, twelve, fifteen, sixteen. They're actually slightly stronger than I am. That's something I should keep in mind. Because I want to go for another mission, that's why. We could finish the mission, of course, but I do want to use this one. The stability would go, go down, as well as assimilation speed. <coughs> but I want, of course, I want the entire entire Italian peninsula. That's like that's something I want. Um, this one can't happen. So I want to go for this one. We do have a lot of aggressive expansion, of course, but I feel like this is the one we want to go for. So. I need to be able to man this attrition here. Not there though. I need to be ready so I can just swoop in, kill their armies and be done with it. We're actually independent. 5, 8, 10, 12, 15, 16. We're, we are about equal, of course. So, Tuskia, Arrhenium. Take whatever you want to. Give me the monies. I probably need to try and... I could probably spend some money on making my... Trying to make my guys stronger. To recruit some new units. What do I want though? That's the question. If we look at the tactics, we have the triple axis. 
is specifically effective with heavy infantry. Some effectiveness with light cab as well, but mainly when it comes to heavy infantry. Is like sp sp spamming heavy infantry. That's is that a way to go? I don't know. Um, it might be. It's very they're very expensive, of course. Extremely expensive troop unit. Not like the supply supply train though, and the heavy cab. But I feel like they're effective. Build four of them for now. You want some fur from Lusania, you want some wine, and that should be fine by me, right? And yeah, my income is going up as well, so that's great. Oh man, there's a lot of things happening. You want some that thing, you want some that thing, and that was the only thing I could go for. Bloody hell, I, I spilled water on myself. <laughs> I'm behaving like a child. I am mad. Okay, we are no longer importing livestock to Campania. Okay, then I want to import probably livestock again. No, we do not want to import livestock. We probably just want to import something other. Annapolis, Capua. Capua is probably the biggest city. Yeah, it is. So if we go for imports. Try to make the slaves happier. We do have olives though, so it doesn't really matter that much with wood. It doesn't seem like I have it, so I could try. There we go. Um, it was stronger than they are now, so. We built the aqueduct in Roma. Our income is stable. You want some metals? Yeah, sure. Um, you want the commander, of course. Is this guy isn't he's actually very loyal <laughs> because he's the bloody council that's why it makes sense we have some people being loyal to the other guy though so but i feel like we are strong enough for that not to be an issue do i want to do this like right now probably not that seems like a very bad one um, i feel i feel like i should just wait for my money until we're done with this war will this go up that's the question we have a very good income, of course, but I'm not. I'm not going to war with zero gold. That's a stupid thing to go for. To destroy the the prospect of it, betraying our Italic feudatis is, is a mad, sacrilegious raving. But to some, it would represent our total victory over lesser brothers, brother nations, and keep them in check. Um, we haven't gone for any of those two, so it doesn't really matter. The Italian question will will crush them. Of course, that's a bad thing when it comes to pop assimilation and local population happiness and stuff like that. And I get zero to diplomatic reputation, but I just make it happen. Man, my stability is low. What does that mean? Oh man, like look at the happiness. That's insane. It should go up like a shit ton though, so. Try and make this just go quicker, please. I'm feeling a bit scared about that, to be honest. It could go to hell. You never know. You want some horses, you can have some horses if you want to. It's actually okay. I would prefer to stack white. And we did. This could take some time. The thing is, I don't want. I do not want to allow them to consolidate their forces, that's the thing. Because that's always a bad thing. They could consolidate their forces and I would have some issues. Um, but I also want to be able to siege this down. Yeah, people are not that happy, so... A lot of bad things are happening. Because I'm, ha I'm at war with like everyone. Uh, I can see what I would, would have, why that would be an issue, but... Saskia, you can see. Was that from Latium though? I might as might have misread that one. Red-handed, several nights ago, Publius Suspicious Severia was discovered helping himself to a sizable quantity of gold from the national treasury. This is a serious crime, however, there's something to be said for sweeping affairs like this under the carpet. 
I could flog him. I have a lot of popularity, so. There was a lot of gold still, though. Uh, Lucania, it's okay. That's not a lot of happiness, I'm telling you. That's a lot of very bad happiness. We're going to get some work exhaustion as well because they're trying to siege me down and they're actually sieging me down at a rapid pace because I'm fed up trying to siege this down. I might not be going for the right strategy right here. I could be doing a stupid thing. All the while I'm giving away like every trade resource that we own. So we might actually try and split this in half. And I can take the other one if you wouldn't mind game. Take this one, I give it to Commander. The co council it actually likes us, and I try and go and kill those two dudes. Foreign flight, curious Albanian man, almost like Albanian, appeared upon our borders today, claiming asylum from his captors in Albia. This man is not a loyal man. He additionally promised us a rich land in his home country should we seek exact vengeance on his behalf. Um, okay. Rome is not a place for... I don't care about your claims. I'm, I have bigger issues right now. I'm telling you. Uh, olives from Lucania. You can go for it. Be happy. It's okay. Let's try and see. We kill this bloody man. It's, it, 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 wreaking havoc. Why is it unclear? I feel like I should be able to, to go for this one. It's because like they're defending. Is that a reason? Okay, they have a better commander, and their terrain is to their benefit. I can see why. This is actually, like, hills. I see. I feel like we should still be able to do this. The might of the Roman legionnaires, and I was the right one. Tarentum is okay. Uh, fish from Tarentum, it's okay. I need to siege those things back down, so we can get this work sashing out of the way. You want to fish from Calabria? Go on. Uh, they're sitting down a lot of things. That's just the main reason this is happening. I I feel like we just go and kill their army. That's probably the preferable thing to do. So, walk. Walk, man. Man, my forts are expensive. They're extremely expensive. Okay, we gain this back because I own the fort itself. That's great. Please be done, man. Aternum, Torrentum. Yeah, go for it. Be happy. You should just go here. Try and siege this, man. I had too many forts in this area as well. That's something I need to keep in mind so I can siege them down. Oh, destroy them when I have the time for it. Um, go kill that dude. You take it forever, man. A, re a religious proceeding. A struggle between the religi religious echelons of our society and the peasants have recently came into light. As the populace at large feel like the religious ceremonies are inaccessible and distant. On the other hand, our Auger and his attendants demand the distance needed to do their jobs properly and arguments the peasants have no... An argument the peasants have no rights to the inner workings of religious ceremonies. I don't need to lose more stability right now. Um, I need stability. So I feel like this is the best one we could go for. I, I, I really need the stability right now. Like, I need that insanely much. That's not a big one. Um, the thing is, most of my enemies are very small. Why are you still my ally? Why are those guys seeing like my my allies? Is this just for like the first ones I had? So those people didn't care. But they didn't matter. Apparently they didn't. That's peculiar. Just sit this bloody place down, man. Come on. The sacking of Corfinium. Let the looting be gentle. None shall hide. We could become cruel. Uh, I see no reason to. Be gentle, okay? We're friends. We are friends, of course. Uh, we stop importing some stuff. Try and kill this dude, if you wouldn't mind. You probably should siege down this other fortress, dude, so we can get this done with. 
they are creating some havoc down here, of course. And that's something that makes me upset. But still. I feel like we don't have that many issues, to be honest. Probably just need to focus on this one. But I also want to go and kill our army, of course. That's also something I want to do. I want to kill our army. Try and go for those guys. They are, of course, trying to raise a lot of troops, apparently. A lot of troops, apparently. Um, they've, like, raised five in, like, one second. And that's why I need to keep them weak before they get stronger. So, get down here and kill those dudes before they're able to consolidate. Because if, if they're able to, we're going to have some issues. Um, let's try and catch the man, please. We're going to capture at least one of them and we stack wipe them can we capture that one apparently not it seems like we're just walking around him for some reason it doesn't really make sense but okay people are starving i know this is mainly because we like we are at, we're siege down we have some work session we still have like a high enthusiasm though people are not too unhappy with us which is great. Just try and catch the dude, man. You're slow. No, there we go. They are a bit afraid. It makes sense that they are afraid, but I didn't manage to kill them, though. That's the thing. Just go and siege down this fortress, get rid of the man. I just want, to, I just want this to end. Never has a more devout man existed than Agrippa Claudius Crassus, or people clamor at the very door of this temple, demanding that we declare feast in his honor. How should we do it to him? I actually want to pay for this. I need stability. So, I can pay for it. It's okay. N now I can afford an invention. This one could be good. Bill cost could also be good. Um, mainly I want things for money, of course. So either this one or the Siege Tower. That's the question. I go for the bill cost. That's going to save us money in the long run. More importantly than any, any school of mathematics is the study of how to behave and how to apply reason to any situation. Teaching our children this is an early at an early age will usher us in a new era of philosophy. Are you sure? Yes, I am. I am really sure. I don't have to unpause the game, though. It's, it's gonna take some time. This might take some time. Bountiful olives. Our men in Auclayum woke up to find large, massive olives unlike any ever seen before. The local priest declared it a blessing for Minerva. Some say it's even a show of preference to the rest of the world. Our high priest suggests building a small shrine to celebrate the goddess. A small shrine? That's it, like an insanely big shrine. Man. I, I can't afford it. That's the thing. I'm, I'm at war right now. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry, goddess. I'm sorry, Minerva. I don't want to make you upset, but I, I can't pay for that. That's the sad truth. People are not, is, are not very happy right now. Like I'm telling you. I have a lot of reasons for people to be unhappy. Mainly because we are sieged down. They are sieging us down. Of course. But this is starting to happen. I, I feel like you could probably later down the line like buy siege equipment. And I feel like that would be a good thing. Because I need some siege equipment. I really do. Because this is taking an insanely long time. To siege this down. Like, man. They actually have two fortresses here. This is a level 1. This is a level 1 as well. Like, this is only a level 1. and it This is actually a level 2. It takes an insane amount of time to siege it down. We have a new ruler. And we also won the siege. You're actually very good. He has appointment. Are you serious, man? So how's the government looking? He's a popularis. You are an optimist. You are, you're happy. You are not happy. And you are happy. 
great. We need a new researcher. Which one should we go for? Probably the best one I can go for. And he's, actually, he's also young, so it's okay. We also need the Praetor. And I should probably go for the best one available in this area as well. Yeah, I know I have low navy maintenance because I don't have any bloody ships. That's the reason. I have no bloody ships. We kill down that guy. We siege down the rest of this place. And now I should probably just go and kill the last dude by siege. Yeah, they were sieging down a lot of places. I know. And I know it's, I know it's not a good thing. I know you're unhappy guys, but this is for like, this is for the survival of the empire. It's actually not the survival, it's actually for the, the best of the empire. And we need to do this. If I tried to attack you, would I win this? I wouldn't even catch him. I see. I don't want to attack the guy in the fortress. So go there, try and siege this down. And that that should be about it. I feel like. This is going down. It's going down slowly. Very slowly. And people are still starving in some places. But it's, it's okay, I think. We are fine. We could afford a new invention, I should probably do that if we have a lot of money. Siege towers could potentially be a good thing to go for. Oh, huh. that would be money. Not an insane amount of money, but it would be money. But I, I feel like... During the Siege of Rhodus, Demetrius employed towering siege engines to, to attempt to scale the walls of the Rhodian city. Sure. Because I just want to speed this up slightly. Because this is taking too long. Like, man, this is taking an insane amount of time. Be done. Popularis Agenda. An office for Lucius Julius Lebo. Um, he could become a governor. And I have to. Stop the whining. As they nicely put it. I see. I see. Is there a siege down? I probably want to siege my places down as back if I want. And we want that siege. And we want this siege. That's what, that's what we did. We want this one. Are you happy? You were okay, Lee. Okay, happy. Okay, we just need this siege, then we're probably done. We're going to have a massive amount of aggressive expansion, though. That's the only thing. Probably. The reason I'm doing this is trying to put this down. Because they're, they're currently not trying to do anything, actually, so that's interesting. Someone that. No, wait, what? A venerable elder by the name of Marcus Eunice Paulus approached our council in private this morning in hushed voice. He spoke as a vision of the near future in which he was found by his loved one having been sacrificed to dark gods. With shaking hands and offered all of his worldly gods goods to the state in return for our protection. Okay. I seem like both of those are good. I can take the money. That's fine. Siege down the castle if you don't mind. Or the city. I should probably, probably do something about those pirates. Where are they based though? That's the question. Like here, they're based here. And those are mercenaries. I see. We could actually afford another invention because we're making a shit ton of money. Uh, this one could be good. This one as well. We can't do this right now. I feel like. Hmm. I haven't tried this as a nation, so I'm not going to mess with it so far. I don't know if we haven't 
tried going down this route at all, actually. This is the first level. Jordan. The need for great defensive walls had great influence on the development of civic architecture, with masons employing ever more innovative methods to construct buttresses and towers, so did grand civic structures begin to soar to the heavens. Like the Tower of Babylon, of course. I am very sure. Like the bloody Tower of Babylon, which God himself wasn't that happy about. If you know your Bible studies well enough. Go for it. Please. We're making an insane amount of money. If I like lowered my fort maintenance as well, that would make us a shit ton of money. I think. As one of those guys have done, of course. Which it seems like it's going to take some work, some time. We finally won that one. We're going to gain those other places for free. We could try and speed it up. Not like it's really going to speed up though, but I guess that's fine. And you're all low. We're very high in comparison to you. Can I take you all down then? Yes, we can. That's eight aggressive expansion. We can take everything. Seems fine. The Martian Elite banished them. I need to lose aggressive expansion, that's why. That's basically the only reason I did that. And you are no longer sieged down. You need to be replaced, it seems like. I don't want this fortress. It seems unnecessary to have this. So go away. Um, probably a lot of the fortresses inside here. I want my outer fortresses, of course. That's what I want to focus on. So you can stay, not this one. This, of course, is saving us a lot of shit ton of money as well. As well as doing this one. Like here we have four fortresses, like in a row. This is a big city. We're very unhappy for some reason. Probably because of this. I can see why. Get this destroyed. You can stay here for now, because we have this frontier against Mastodon and Epirus. Uh This is probably too much, but I have I have cottage in this general direction, so I, we need to stay a bit scared about them. But I, only, I only need one here. Keep that one, not this one. And apparently, someone said you don't want too many cities. So you like, can revoke city rights if you have to. But the question is, like, how many cities do you need? Like, in which general directions and areas do you want the, ci want the city? That's, like, the question I have to you. Like, where do you want cities? I think you said, like, one per province. But I don't actually remember right now. So, like, here we have two cities. So, we're, like, even three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Like, would I want to revoke, like, those other ones except, like, the this one or Capua? That's the question I have. So please tell me. The stability is going up. That's great. This should be going down. You should have this. Make me some money. I'm actually making a lot of money now. Like, how much are we making a person to cottage? I don't want to press you. I want to press this one. I'm actually making more. And mainly from commerce. I feel like that's probably the reason why we didn't have more money than they do. They have a greater manpower, but they have a bigger army right now and a much bigger fleet. Interesting. We could, we could though, afford another innovation. Hmm. And I, of course, want to remember doing to do this. I want probably just put it together again. Which one should I go for? I think like in the end I want everyone. Or should I spend my money on buildings? Is that like the preferable thing to do? That's probably like the preferable thing to do. Like which which cities would I want to keep? Like the big ones, the important ones. Um, the Tusky, I probably want Kasei, right? 
rather than this one. I want Kose. So I need to build stuff here. People are very unhappy. That's probably mainly because we have <laughs> we have some issues with the with the um, general thing because of the uh, that thing as well as that thing. But I want to build something. To build a mill right now. He's trying to make the slaves happier. Um, in Valis Arnie, I probably want. I only have like one city. I, w I only have Pisse. So I need to focus on that. We have we have a mill. I would I wouldn't actually have okay we have a, we have a fortress. That's why I didn't even see it. That one could be good. Try and keep getting money up. Uh, in Capua as well, we have training camp, we have this one, forum, temple, and a theater. I wouldn't mind the tax office. Actually. And down here, where do I want to focus? In Tarentum. Potentially in Tarentum itself. Wouldn't be a stupid thing to do, right? <laughs> Temple, Academy, and a Fortress. Tax office. I am the naughty taxman. I just come and take everyone's money. That's the way I work. Library, actually. Tax office. Give me the sweet taxes. <laughs> Man. Yeah. This is more built up. It has, a, it has a port as well. This has more pops, but I feel like we should focus on this place. I don't need a level 2 fortress though. We need a level 1. And I want taxes. And then we would want to focus on the next place then. Is so this is a turnum. Which city is the important one? I think some you also said that like May rivers and the sea is mainly the preferable places to have cities in. This is actually next to a major river. That could actually be a good thing. Uh, yeah, nearby river plus 5%. I see. That's, a, that's, a, that's, just, that's just the supply though. But if we look at like other numbers. Man, that governor expensive. I don't know. This is the capital. I think we should think about that for a bit. Do actually in the comments give me some, please give me some tips on which buildings to build. Like which one do you usually prefer to build? Which are the best ones? I'm going for taxes right now. I don't know if that's the best one, if, if there are better ones, please tell me. We lost someone, he was the head of the uni. -I. Had a sip of water. So we're making a shit ton of money right now. We have a family being scored. <coughs> the Junii. He's the governor, you're co-counsel, and you are nothing. You are you two are women. Probably this guy. I could use him for something, I guess. Or this guy for statesmanship. Uh, we lost the perfectus, of course, so. Yeah, Quintus, you can be the next one then. The Perfectus Militaris. Can I merge you? Is that possible? Yeah, thank you. You are loyal to that, to some other people. 
Can I make that disappear somehow? Is that is that possible? Can I make this disappear? I would like to know. He's an like incapable man. Prominent, ambitious, incapable, and generous. There's a lot of things in one guy. <laughs> There's a lot of things in one bloody guy. I want to kill you. Do I have a... Yeah, I don't I don't have stability, but do I have a, like a Kaz's belly on you? Can I see that somehow? Probably diplomacy. Uh, we have CB against Epirus. Macedonia, Olbia, that's Byzantia. We don't. Lucania, this is Furia, and that is Lucania. No, this is Alia, and this is Heraclea. I see, I read the wrong one. And that's Furia. Okay. Oh, bloody hell. I probably shouldn't have you here. You are not that happy with it. Be in Roma, if you don't mind. No, you shouldn't be in Roma. Making the entire place lose their food. Where's the food going? No. Is there anyone, any place where I have ex access extra food? It seems like in this end of the direction. That's Tuskia. The Senate is very happy. That makes me happy as well. Uh, monthly corruption seems reasonable. Seems reasonable indeed. Touched by Mer Mercury, Mercury. Facetime has seen a huge influx of traders and travelers from far and wide recently. One of our advisors jokingly suggests we must have been blessed by Mercury himself. I don't know if you had pronounced it as a hard C or a soft one. Tell me about it. It might have been a joke, but joke. But praying about the deuce to the, to the god might be a good idea nonetheless. It can only be a boost in the longer term. So we could either get a lot of money or spend a lot of money for this place, this thing. That's a lot of tax. There's a shit ton of tax. I don't know if you're going to earn it back by doing this, but that's still a shit ton of money you can get from taxes. We're making a lot of money from taxes as well, so... That's something to keep in mind. Keep this one. Steady... Steady one. Okay, what are we going to do? You are... This, it's always the guy in Magna Gracia. That's always where they're unhappy with me. Can I see like the... No. I guess we can't. Interesting. Like, how is this revolt thing? Can, can I see this? Can I see ongoing wars? Can I see it like in the ledger? Is it possible to see wars? No? Can't I? Please? Rulers, provinces, invasions of rulers. Because those are the people I've been going with since we started. Apparently. That was a good guy. Except in seal, I guess. Uh... Okay. Photographer, when asked about what time was, answered that it was the soul of this world. That's actually kind of poetic. Photographer knew what he, was, what he was talking about. I haven't checked the world map in every single place. It's actually very beautiful. Uh, I bet you didn't know that the Romans actually had a trading station on one of those islands. I guess it, I bet you didn't know that. <laughs> I saw it on YouTube. I didn't know it either. I saw it on YouTube that the Romans had like a trading station on one of those islands. Or one of those. Some of those islands in this area, they had a trading station, we think. And that's probably the, the furthest from Roma that the Romans ever went. Because that's that's a very long way 
from Rome. Like, look at the distance. This is Rome. That's the trading post. That's insane. Okay. We should probably plan ahead. Where do we want to go? Bloody pirates. I'm not going to trade from Latium, though. Now, like, Latium is the place they're going to try and focus on. I see. How is the trading going? Have I... Are I importing the things I want? No. I am not doing that. People are very unhappy. That's not something I can do anything about. I probably can't. Yes, I can. I probably can't go for another one now. No, I don't think so. If I don't want olives. Lucania, you can't do anything. You are already doing what you can, as well as you. You are not doing anything. I feel like there aren't any available trade routes. Okay. I see. So that's the way we're talking. You're not giving away your stuff to me. I have been giving away my stuff to you. And you're not giving away your stuff to me. It doesn't really seem that fair, right? I only have decided one free there. Trust me, I did see it. So, can we go for the rest of the olives then? We can. Try and improve the economy slightly more. As much as we can. While I try to think ahead about what I want to do. This Senate is incredibly happy. Probably Syracuse. They're probably the people I want to go for. How strong are you? Not strong enough. You're making some money. You have some, you have a lot of it. Not as much as I have. I probably need to build some boats. Try and Make sure they can stop us from going this, going across this strait. Oh, we're probably going to try and go straight ahead to blockade like Roma itself. But I do think I need some boats. So I'm actually going to start building some boats. I don't know which ones are the best ones to build. Uh. Uh. Hilfe? Help? <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea. I, I know nothing about boats in this game. Like, which ones are the good ones to build? I don't know. The, the big ones? The small ones? Like, go for numbers or quality? What's the best one? <laughs> Those are terrible. You can see it. They're not very good. Those are good against Liberiums. Those are good against those two. And those are good against, like, everyone. I feel like Tetra is probably the best one. You see about like how many ships they're good against. It's a medium type ship. They're kind of cheap. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Did I count right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I can't count, I promise. Uh, seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go. I know how to I know how to count, I promise. <laughs> Apparently I don't. Apparently I'm terrible when it comes to counting. I probably need to watch my aggressive expansion as well. That's not a good thing. It needs to go down. My friend has dysentery. Dysentery. That's not a nice thing to have. An intestinal complaint. Dysentery is when treated pro properly was often manageable. Dehydration, however, would often cause serious complications and could result in death, especially around sources of contaminated water. Yeah, it's not a nice thing to have. I'm, I'm not that happy for you, man. I'm telling you. This is going to take some time. It's going to take like a couple of years. I probably just spread those out. Um, let me do it like this. Do it like this. We go for the tetra, and I build some 
One, two. That's four. Five, six. Uh, again, I could just send them around. I guess. Seven, eight. Nine, ten. And I need an omen. I want the commerce. I want the money. Give me the monies. I guess I could go for this one. My aggressive expansion is kind of high. I want it to go down. Excellent conditions to Tarkini. Whatever by happy coincidence. Coincidence. The blessing of Fortuna or his diligent management for the past year of production in the city of Tarquini has far surpassed the predictions of local bureaucrats and administrators. Being a bureaucrat and administrator in training, I know that we usually predict stuff the wrong way. <laughs> Trust me. We just, we just give you people numbers and we hope that they are the right ones and more often than not we're actually failing. And when we're actually lucky enough, we're just lucky. <laughs> While we could simply exploit these boons for short-term gain, some have suggested that this is an opportunity to study the organization of slaves who by all accounts are unusually satisfied and productive bunch and attempt to apply the lessons across the province of Tuskia. Alternately, we could, of course, simply allow whatever fortune Tarquini enjoys to run its natural course without interference. You make the most. That one seems fine. That's only for the city itself. This is for an entire province. I go for this one. And I'm just going to go and get some water, guys, to see you in a minute. There we go, guys. Just have to drink some water. I eat Italian food for dinner today. Today I am. Today. I can't speak, I promise. And it made me slightly sore. Not sore in my throat, it's made slightly. What's the word? I'm trying to look for the word, I can't find it. Dry. Dry in my throat. That's why. Probably because I drank beer. That's probably the reason why I got dry in my throat. Drink too much beers. Too many beers. Beer. I can get also a bit bitter. Um, I'm just letting the time run. I feel like I'm not doing anything of any consequences or good things whatsoever. Probably something we need to do. I was thinking about circuits. We're waiting for the ships, of course. That's the reason why. I know what I'm doing, I promise. You don't have a lot of food. Do you? You have some of it. Because I want to move my guys down. Slightly closer. Probably want to do this. <clears throat> Are there even any ones we could go for? We can't, of course, try and import anything because we are maxed out. But uh, would this one actually be any beneficial to us? Uh, I don't know. Could be good. I don't actually know what this one does. I'm not good when it comes to the diplomacy game. This would give us money. Like, for a fact, I know this would give us money. This one would be good as well. Not really that one, though. Hmm. Yeah, I should go with tribes, tribal reserve. Officially recognizing certain areas as belonging to control of a specific tribe people is bound to increase their willingness to contribute. The V that Impera, divide and conquer, right? Letting them have some autonomy, be autonomous, and then we just came in and helped them, and they became a very happy Roman subject, of course, in due time. Leave Latium alone, please. I guess I could probably trade away like one cloth because we have a surplus. We do. I could give it to my own places. I'd rather just wait for them to give me one for cloth again then. We still have work, Sosh. That's not good. The treasury of Opius Claudius Codex. It seems Opius has got on his hands on a lot of wealth, and he, as he has started investing a great deal of silver into building a reputation for himself lately. 
I guess he spent his money on on GameStop <laughs> and made a fortune like some of the guys on Reddit. <laughs> Man, I, as a guy who has an education in finance, it's a, a small, a minor in finance so far, um, seeing what's happening currently with GameStop is that it's insane. It's insane. I, I'm not complaining. I'm not saying you're doing something bad, guys, if you're involved in that. But it's still insane to watch. <laughs> Though it's unclear exactly where he found these riches, his efforts are surprisingly effective. With his increased popularity, he has started vying for a more powerful position in Rome, shamelessly comparing himself to the council. Why would I even care? Time to share with us, man. I can make him lose popularity. I don't feel like that's a good thing to do, right? He's actually losing loyalty either way. But I think this is actually the, the safest route to go down. I feel like. I wanna move you. I wanna move every ship I can to the same place. So you all go, go there. I want to keep my ships together. You can have one club. That's the only one I'm trading with you. Man, that's a lot of gold. I'm basically preparing to attack Syracuse. Trying to take all of... Get my... Get my stronghold on Sicily and get away onto un the island in itself, get our footing. We're going to be neighbors with those people, of course, if I do that. And I probably need to focus on... Um, do I have Cass's Belly on you? I'm actually guaranteeing you. I probably need to fabricate a claim. Um, should I just go for the those people first? You are... You're connected to Epirus. Huh. How strong is your navy? It's not that strong. Should... Who would I rather clash, clash hands with? Like those two people together? Like Macedonia and Thrace? Or Carthage? I feel like Carthage is actually the nicer one to get to go against right now. So, trying to mess with Circus is probably the preferable thing. You're beneath them. You only have one place, or like one county. Those people, they have two counties, it seems like. No, it's only one. You're beneath Syracuse, as are you. I would rather probably fabricate a claim on you. Where are the provinces? They have the province of Seculia and Syracuse. Try and go for Seculia then. going to take let okay they're in route in one month I see and you need to match you need to go there to Pompeii this was before that thing erupted that's Etna and that is Vesuvius of course Hopefully it won't erupt. It didn't erupt for another like 300 years. I feel like we should be safe. At least if Cleanest Elder I think was. Was he the one that was in close to Pompey and he wrote about it? Was it Cleanest Elder? I think it was Cleanest Elder. I'm not sure. I'm not sure about my history when it comes to that one. We need to be careful about those people. I don't want them to go and sink my ships. Uh, Lucius found his violence, violence, uh, yeah, violence, twisting the knife, I see, I see. For reasons known only unto himself has begun to view the council. No, what? Uh, I am starting to view him as my rival. That's troubling, I guess. Or not I, but the council himself. Can I call him my, can I call him I? Is, is it really me? I don't know. Like, is that correct? 
I don't know. March of time, we are... Oh. Age finds us all in the end. Even the priests and surgeons shake their hands when... Heads when confronted with the inventable decline of the human body. As the Lucius Fabius violence is finding out, it may not have much time left. That's sad. You're, you're obsessive, you're lazy. Why is lazy a cat? <laughs> Man. That, that's, that's brilliant. That's brilliant. Man, I, I love that. A cat. If you ever had a cat, you know exactly what that means. Cats are really are. Oh. Oops. Who are you loyal to? You're loyal to that dude. As are you. And you. And you. And you. Oh. I probably should do it like this. Does this man like us? Or did I move too rapidly giving him this? I might have. Oops. I bribe you? Yes, I can. For 100 gold, I could bribe him. But uh, I feel like. I think, that, I think that's okay for now. Just keeping them there. Or I might be wrong. I don't know. I haven't learned so far. I'm still a beginner at this game, okay? But I don't want this civil war to break out. That would make me very unhappy if that was the case. If we had a bloody civil war. Huh. Frontal assault. It seems like probing attack is the most effective one for those people. It's like a seal, apparently. An apprehensive approach where we isolate and catch single enemy ships of God to help us break up the resolve. This is likely to generate more captured ships. Huh. It's never a good thing to go for like the same ship. We have like a shit ton of same ships, but I have no idea uh, which ships to go for. So I just went for those ones. Because why the hell not? You know what, guys? I'm actually going to take a break here. Because we have gone above one hour and it's late at night and I need to sleep. And drink some more water as well. <laughs> but uh, it was fun tonight. We didn't really do a lot of things. We just said to our neighbors, Well, thank you for your help, but now I don't like you anymore. And I want you to die. And that's basically what we did. We killed those people. I probably want to kill you as well. Um... I don't have a CB on you, so I need to fabricate the claim. Which I should. So you attack, but probably start off with those people, Byzantia, and then go for Circus. I think that's the way we're going to go for it in the next episode. So stay around, stay in tune. It's going to come up on Sunday, the next episode. This one is going to come up on Saturday at 12 a.m. 12 a.m. Um, is it 12 a.m.? 12 p.m.? I think it's 12 a.m. GMT. Not GMT plus one. It's it's probably like 11 a.m. if you go by GMT. So that's something for you to stand in touch with. Okay, guys. As always, make sure you like this video if you have enjoyed. It would make me very happy if you did like it. Also, make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any future content. Don't forget to click the notification bell so you don't miss out on the notifications. Because YouTube may, might be screwing with you sometimes and not show you the things you want to see. Also, leave a comment down below if there's something you want to talk about. If, if there's something you want to tell me about the game, as always, because I make a shit ton of mistakes. I know it, even though I don't know which mistakes I do, I do make a lot of mistakes. And I want your opinion of them, and I just want your opinion overall about what I could do better or worse or whatever. <laughs> just tell me whatever. It's up to you. That's everything for today, guys. So see you soon. Take care.